here at the Charlotte Museum of History, historic preservation has become a big focus for us and we know that it's a big need for the Charlotte community to preserve our historic built environments. And the music venues are a great example of a built environment that becomes a third place for the people of Charlotte. So it's like our cheers, right? It's the place you go where everybody knows your name, it's your um, you know, your cultural hub, it's your um, place you go to meet friends and see new bands and support the local art and music scene. And um, so in doing this exhibit, we wanted to talk about both um, the history of music and the art scene and hope, hopefully promote, um, you know, promote, hopefully inspire people to go out and go see a band, um, buy a t-shirt, you know, go buy a ticket, go, go support local musicians. Well, the Double Door was the home of the blues in Charlotte, uh, the place that really exemplified uh, excellence in musicianship as well as uh, just a straight good times place. I think their last show was on like January second. It was like the very beginning of 2017. So the Excelsior was essentially the African American Country Club of Charlotte, uh, opened by Jimmy McKee in 1944. This serviced a part of the community that really wasn't getting the attention that it deserved or that it warranted. And all of this stuff is courtesy, not the photograph, but all this stuff is courtesy of Edith Sheeran, who was a very long-term bartender at the Excelsior. Um, and I was fortunate to be able to go to her house and meet her a couple of times, a uh, lovely person. So it's kind of like a moment in time too, right? Because this is pre-cell phones and you know, the people used to actually keep information like this. <laughs> so. I guess, you know, Tremont is the proving ground for rock and roll acts in Charlotte. Was, Char uh, Tremont was <laughs> the proving ground for uh, rock and roll musicians in Charlotte. Mm -hmm. My favorite piece, is back in here. Uh, I just put it in this little thing to prop it up so you guys will be able to see it. Um, this is the guest pass from Chris Radot, uh, a local Charlotte photographer, uh, very well known in this area. Um, and he, uh, one year, was very tragically killed in his own home. Um, but Guar every year would just print a press pass for Radoc. He was the guy that they would have come photograph them in Charlotte. Um, and the year he died, Guar didn't hear that Radoc had passed away. So this is after Chris Radoc had passed away. Uh, this is his press pass that Guard printed out for him. We're really lucky to have that chain in a deal. Thank you for loaning this object out to us. It's super exciting. So one of the myths that the Charlotte Museum of History is constantly trying to dispel is that all of Charlotte's history is already torn down. It's true that we have not been, as a community, great supporters of historic preservation, but there are still great resources that need to be preserved and attention brought to them so that they can be preserved for future generations. So that's part of the reason why we're doing this Unforgettable Music Venues of Charlotte exhibit, because we do want people to remember what those third places meant to Charlotteans. We want you to think about the, the third places that made you who you are today in this community, and we want you to be an advocate for preserving our music venues and our artistic culture here in Charlotte for future generations.